The claim that miracles cannot happen doesn't fly with me because I've seen too many of them. They continue. In fact, in the book of Acts, chapter 3, Peter goes to prayer with John and they see a lame man begging at the gate. Peter lifts this man up and he begins to walk and dance and leap before the Lord. And they were arrested for this because Peter began to preach in Jesus' name. And in Acts chapter 4, verse 10, listen to how Peter explained how the lame man began to walk. He said, Let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. Peter says when Jesus was alive, he healed lots of people. He healed lepers, he healed lame men, he opened the eyes of the blind. And the reason we are still seeing lame men healed is because Jesus is alive. He rose from the dead. And this is the proof right here. And the book of Acts is filled with stories of miracles and the Lord intervening. The Holy Spirit came down upon the church and empowered them not just to testify of the gospel, but to testify with power. And first Paul says, I didn't come to you with fancy words of wisdom and logic. I came to you with a demonstration of the Spirit and power. That the miracles of the early church were a sign of the ongoing work of Jesus. And even to this day, we see the Spirit of Christ at work. Did any of you have a chance to see the video that we posted over the weekend? The folks that came through Mountain and Valley Testimonies recorded several of your, your stories, which is wonderful. But the thing that I asked them to do is said, can you gather some of those in our church who have been miraculously healed and get their stories? And we did that. And several people are in there giving the story of how God didn't just save their soul, He healed their body. Because God is still working today. Jesus is still alive. If you in this room have been healed by the power of the risen Lord Jesus, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Jesus is still alive. And I'm not talking about, I had a cold, I had a headache, and it went away. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about diagnosable or even non-diagnosable ailments, afflictions, and illnesses that have been removed, cancer that's disappeared in the name of Jesus. We continue to see it. I reject the proposition that miracles don't happen anymore. I'm not one of those people that believe that the world is just one of these spontaneous places where things just happen. Even if I did believe that, then what is the connection between saying, Lord, heal them in Jesus' name and the miracle happening? And you can say, well, look, I don't know if I trust the Bible. I don't know if I trust all the things you're saying. Well, you've got to talk to some of these people, look them in the eye and say, I believe that you are deceived, deluded, and a liar. Well, I would never go so far as to say that. These seem like reasonable people. Then perhaps it's not unreasonable to believe that Jesus is still alive. We've seen healings. We've seen visions, we've seen prophecies, we've seen the like happen here, happen abroad, wherever the gospel goes. I have a friend from Nepal who became a Christian. He was a witch doctor, friends, a witch doctor. He was demon possessed, who had a dream that told him to call upon the name of Jesus and he would be saved. He had never heard that name in his life. He begins to pray to Jesus and he was healed. He was dying from alcohol poisoning on his bed. And then I had another dream the next night where he was sent to the next village and said, there will be people there that can tell you about Jesus. So I don't know if I believe that story. Well, you can talk to him yourself. His name is Shimshon and he lives in Nepal. I know his name, I know his son, and I've got his picture. But you know what? People put their head in the sand for these testimonies just as they put their head in the sand for the risen Lord too. Craig Keener has written an amazing book called Miracles Today where he documents miracle testimonies with receipts, doctor's notes, ultrasounds, blood work of what has happened to people. Christ is still working today.